two Ugandan students who want to turn a research project into reality. The Makerere University students are putting plastics to use, extracting diesel out of it. Now we have very, very various wastes, so I began looking at the, the plant wastes or the biomass wastes and even the plastic wastes. Now out of my research, I'll be able to real, I was able to realize that if this could be used um, to make, let's say, bio oil or biodiesel or diesel from plastics, then this would be of great importance to us as Ugandans or as Africa at large. The graduates are using basic equipment for their project, heating plastics at high temperatures before it's cooled to produce the diesel. And then we heat to temperatures ranging between 350 to 400 degrees centigrade. Now, um, as time goes by, as you continue heating, then you're going to see bubbles coming out. The first few bubbles are, of course, the oxygen that was there, so they have to be driven out. And then after some time, then you're going to see layer of oil coming out, and then it's condensed on, uh, it's condensed through this pipe, and to form a layer on top of the water. Plastics are petroleum products, so the boys are reversing the process to its original form. However, their product still needs more research. We are using a very simple decantation process to get our the layer of oil that we we'll have formed. So we are not 100% sure that the oil that we are in, the, that we are having, the diesel that you are having, is more like I mean water free. So I said it is. We still have some. There might be some molecules of water, but uh, I believe with proper condensation, I mean proper condensation process and uh, separation process, we, able to we will be able to achieve um, the purity that we need. The diesel has been tested on home generators and on tractors, and it works well. I think this could be very good because you see most of our industries, w which use, uh, let's say, steam boilers, they burn them using diesel, which is really a lot of a lot of energy. So if we're able to get diesel in Uganda using the plastic that is abandoned, I think that also will be a good boost. The students are carrying out more research on other waste products to find out whether other types of fuel like kerosene and petrol can be produced too. Uganda recently discovered oil, but production is yet to start. All the fuel consumed in Uganda is imported, but if projects like these can be scaled up, it could be used to power diesel cars and generators. These students hope that in a few years, their project will become commercially viable. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.